I'm Officer Asa. What's your name, ma'am? Mona. Mona. What's your name, sis? Chantel. Chantel. My brother right here. Come close. Come close. What's your name? Malachi. My brother right here with the bag. Come close. Come close. Come close. We come here to Danville to our people, which is y'all, to show you who you truly are. Give me Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Because right now, if I start, I'm going to start right here with Miss Mona here. If I asked you, who are you? What's your race? What would you say? I'm Puerto Rican, Hispanic. Puerto Rican, Hispanic. Chantel, what is your race? I'm black American. Black American. My brother here with the polo. African American. Malachi. You know you from the tribe of Judah. But we all supposed to say the same thing. The reason why we're not all given the same answer is because of this. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Read it again from the top. The ox knoweth his owner. And so stop. It says the ox. Who's familiar with an ox? An ox is an animal, right? Yeah. A big, strong animal. They also say an ox is not that smart. But it said, what about an ox? The ox knoweth his owner. It says an ox knows who he belongs to. Y'all follow me? This animal that's not supposed to be that smart knows who he belongs to. Read. And the ass his master's crib. An ass is a donkey. Everybody familiar? The ass, the donkey, knows where his home is at. Read. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. It said Israel. But we don't know this. Why? Because we have forgotten who we are. We we given ourselves all of these titles, all these labels. That's not your God given name. Puerto Rican is not your God given name. No, your God given name is Ephraim. Black American is not your God given name. Your God given name is Judah. Right. Y'all understand that? Now we're gonna prove it. You are the Israelites. We're gonna prove it. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Many of y'all, y'all heard of the children of Israel, correct? We watched them old movies about Jesus, and everybody depicted white. But the Bible is going to show you without a shadow of a doubt that you, you, you are the children of Israel. You are God's chosen people without a shadow of a doubt. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Let me ask you, Mona, I'm going to start this way and go down. When you hear the word curse, what comes to your mind? You hear the word evil. Evil, something bad. Malachi. You saying roadblocks, you jumping ahead, because you know a little something, right? You know a little something, right? But something bad, when you hear the word curse, it refers to something bad. Read that part again. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses was talking to these people on this side, y'all follow me? Y'all follow me? Moses was talking to these people on this side. He said, if you don't listen to God, read, to observe to do all his commandments. Did it say some? All his commandments. We must do everything that God says. Do y'all understand that? What you hear right now is an agreement. You know how you get a contract or you get a lease on the house and the lease say you can't do this in the property. No, you can't have no animals. You can't have no pets. It's certain stipulations. So God had an agreement with our people, a covenant, a contract. Look, these are the rules I set for y'all. If y'all do what I say, I'm going to bless y'all. If y'all don't do what I say, read. And his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these bad things that are going to overcome these people on this side. These people on this side is always in the ghetto. These people on this side is always on Section 8. 
These people on this side is always what? Drug addicts in the family, single parent homes. These people on this side, I'm not talking about nobody else. But the reason that we go through hardships is because we did not listen to God. Do y'all understand? We ain't just get the short end of the stick. This was the agreement. You listen, you'll be blessed. You don't listen, you'll be cursed. Right. Bad things. Take a look at these signs. Why do y'all think slavery happened? This is punishment from God. We did not listen to God, therefore we got a punishment. You have children. You have children. Little cousins, nieces, nephews. When they don't listen, they get a butt whooping. This was a butt whooping from God right here. Because you it to happen. We was the greatest people that ever walked the world, and we still are. But we not walking like we are great. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the same people. We all going through this. Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Remember, who remember what curses is? Who, who remember what curses is? Something bad. So hard. Same thing in Riverdale, same thing in South Holland, same thing in Chicago. Why? Remember, we didn't listen to God. Read that again. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. How was we cursed in the city back then? Because we can connect to today. How was we cursed in the city back then? Same way we cursed in the city now. Same way we cursed in the city now, to an extent, it was much worse. We was getting lynched back then. In every city in these United States, we were slaves, blacks and Hispanics. Hispanics went into slavery before the blacks. Do you know when? 1492. What they say about Christopher Columbus? Say it again, mama. He discovered America. How? Your people was already over here. Y'all was over here first, and then we came shortly after. How you discover something is people are already there? That's a lie. That goes back to what we was talking about. Exactly, he didn't discover nothing. That's a lie that they tell us. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth